Hey there, this is Jay from JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials for students and professionals in the fields of architecture and interior design. If you are new to our channel, subscribe to get our weekly tutorials on AutoCAD and other design software. In this video, I will be talking about the basic modifying commands in AutoCAD, such as the move, copy, rotate, and erase. And before we start, we jump into the topic, I just want to mention that by watching this video, you should be knowing uh, about the concept of grips or vertices in AutoCAD and also the snap settings in AutoCAD or object snap. If you are not familiar with these topics, I recommend watching our videos on them before you proceed with this video and that will make it easier to work with this video. All right, so let's start with the, with the modifying commands here. I'm just going to start first with the erase command, which is the easiest between the modifying commands. Basically, you can select the geometry and then you can click here and that will erase as simple as that. I'm just going to do undo right now. I can also select this and then type E on the keyboard and that's the shortcut for erase and click enter. And now I'm going to do undo one more time. You can also simply select the geometry and click the delete button on your keyboard and that will also give you the same result. So it's up to you. I personally use the delete button on my keyboard, but you can also use the erase command. All right, moving forward, the move, copy and rotate commands in AutoCAD, they share the same process when you are executing them. So for example, um, I'm going to talk about all three of them quickly first and then I'll break each command individually. So move, copy and rotate. Essentially, you will need to select the geometry first that you are modifying. And then you want to start the modifying command, for example, the move command. And then it will ask you to specify the base point for, from where you want to move or from where you want to copy or from where you want to rotate. So in this case for the move, I'm just going to click on this point, for example. And then the next step will be to specify the destination point to where you want to move this object or to where you want to copy this object or again, where to rotate this object or geometry. And then you click here, for example, this is a destination point, And that was the process for, for the move, copy and rotate. So let's do that again for each command individually. I'm going to do undo here to bring my square back in place. And let's go ahead and select the, the uh, square here and start the move command. I'm going to type M on the keyboard. That's the shortcut for it. And I'm going to click enter. And now we're going to specify the destin the, sorry, we're going to specify the source point or the origin point from where it will move. AutoCAD calls it base point and you can read it beside the cursor. Okay. And I'm just going to tell this geometry to move. Actually, I'm going to choose the midpoint here. I have the snap settings for that, for the midpoint. And then I'm going to tell it to move to the quadrant of this circle. And now I'm going to click here and that will be my destination point, essentially. Okay. And I can do the same with this triangle. I can select it and then do the move command and then click from the midpoint here. And then the destination point will be the other quadrant. I can also do this in a different way. I'm going to do undo here. You can select multiple objects together and then you can modify them together. And I'm going to do move here uh, from this point and then to this point. This is the, that was the source point and now this is the destination point. And here we go and the move command finish on its own. All right. So I'm going to do undo a few times just to bring the geometries back to where they were originally in the beginning. And now we will move to the copy command. So copy command, the same. We're going to select the geometry. We're going to start copy. I'm going to start by typing, uh, I'm going to start it by typing CO on the keyboard. That's the shortcut. You can also click on the button up here under the home ribbon. And I'm going to click enter. And then the same process, it will ask from where do you want to start the copy? What's the base point? And I'm going to choose the end point on this square here. And then now the second point is going to be my destination. And I'm just going to click for example, here. And I want you to notice something. You can see that the copy command actually keeps on copying. It doesn't stop. Uh, so you can actually do multiple copies at the same time like this. All right. Well, I'm going to click enter to finish the command. 
while the move command originally when we did the move it actually just it did the move did modify that and moved it somewhere else and it stopped it didn't keep going with the command so that's just something to pinpoint that you can do multiple copies for the move command you will just have to start it again to actually do another move command all right and then i'm just gonna select these two and i'm just gonna erase them I'm gonna click delete and here we go so that was regarding the copy and as well as the move command you can obviously select multiple objects and copy them at the same time so i'm gonna do that this is my base point and this is our destination point and i'm gonna click enter to finish the command and i'm gonna zoom out now we have everything here together all right and now the next command i would like to mention for you or to show you is the rotate command we can click up here or we can type R O on the keyboard to start it. All right, so, okay. So in this case, I actually started the command before I select the objects. So we can now actually select the objects. We can draw a window around this triangle. And then here, when we start the command before selecting the object, we just need to click enter to confirm the selection. And now the command is active. And now it's asking us to specify the base point. And in the case of the rotate command, the base point basically represents the rotation point. So this is this would be the point from which the object will be rotating. So in this triangle, I will show you, I will choose the top point right here or this end point to be the center of rotation or the base point. And I clicked here and then see what AutoCAD is asking us. It's asking us to specify the rotation angle and the rotation angle basically when what we're going to type here the value is going to represent degrees it's not going to represent inches or feet so for example if i type 45 and uh, autocad will understand that this is a degree value no need to put the simple or anything but just something to mention so we're just typing an angle right now and i'm going to click enter and here we go it rotated the triangle from this position it rotated around this point in a 45 degrees going counterclockwise okay so the rotate command in AutoCAD when we when we start it or when we're using it it's actually doing the rotation counterclockwise so let's do this again I'm gonna do undo by typing Control Z on the keyboard then I'm gonna select this again start the rotate command and I'm gonna specify this as the rotation point and then um, and then now, for example, you can actually also move the mouse to to choose the the angle or to choose the new position. OK, or you can type it as well. So I'm just going to type actually 90 this time and you will see it goes from this position here up to here. So that was count going counterclockwise. If we want the uh, if we want this geometry to rotate clockwise pretty much so it would go the opposite direction. We will just have to add a minus at the beginning of the rotation angle. So let me show you this how it's done. I'm gonna select this geometry, start the rotation command, click enter, and then this is the base point for rotation. And then when it's asking for the rotation angle, I'm just gonna type minus 90, and that will take it uh, clockwise. All right. Uh, and just a quick tip beside the beside the talking about the modifying commands move copy and rotate is that when you select an object and you are typing uh, the value or something just make sure the mouse is inside AutoCAD right now the cursor moved beyond like the drawing area it's roughly here and then when you're typing it might not necessarily be taking the values so just be mindful to actually kind of keep the mouse close to to where you are working just don't put it too far or or outside AutoCAD for example if your AutoCAD window is minimized um, just something quick to mention all right so that was it the regarding the basic modifying commands in AutoCAD the move copy rotate and erase